Hey guys, I want to show you a really useful trick on the darkest shore, and this is how to insta-kill the assassins. Now those guys can be really tricky to kill, they can take a lot of damage, and they get in your face, but there is a method that you can use where you can actually insta-kill all of them, except for the ones in the boss fight. Those are a lot different. This method also allows you to get the spine from the assassin the first time you try. You don't have to weaken them or anything. This will get the spine instantly. There is a very specific loadout that you need for this and you're going to have to load the special that is frontline and then you need to unlock the mods and put the mods on that are the vicious uh, that triples your damage when frontline is activated and then you also want to put on the hand to hand special mod what that does is it increases your melee damage while your frontline is activated so when your frontline is going you're going to have triple damage and then even more damage if you use your melee you don't need any perks to go along with this just your loadout makes you incredibly strong now if you've got the regular ripsaw you can come into the secret chamber activate the frontline and do the bayonet like stab and you're going to insta kill all of them and obviously if you can insta kill the assassins with this method you can insta kill anything with it so yes it works really good on the brenner it works on the whistling and then you know obviously the bombers and because this is an insta kill that means you can collect spines really really easily to get spines from these bosses you have to get it on the finishing blow and that's what this does if you want to use the regular rip saw to get the spine from the assassin you need to be sprinting and then while sprinting you want to hit your melee and then ram into the assassin and after you ram into him you can hold like x or square and that's going to rip his spine out just like you saw here there's no reason to use any kind of tactics to try to weaken him first because this is going to get it the first time and right here i'm just showing you that it works just as well with the upgraded rip saw you just have to make sure that you are sprinting first and while sprinting hit the melee it's going to put you into that charge mode position also i would recommend having stamina up with this it helps a lot to keep you you know sprinting and so right here you can see i'm just going to sprint melee as soon as I you know, run into him, I held square and I was able to get the spine. So for the main Easter egg, you have to have an assassin spine, a whistling and a pest spine. And so, yeah, this is going to make it a lot easier right here. I'm showing you that, yeah, super easy to do even with the whistling. This will also help you to get that trophy that requires you to get all the spines from the four different types of zombies in one game. Now I want to show you something that I've been wanting to make a video about just because it's so incredible. And one of my favorite things in World War II zombies, and it's these knives. These things are so overpowered. I really love them. Right here, you can see I'm on round 21. I saved up all of the whistling. There's like a ton of them, and I'm insta-killing them and also the Brenner with these knives. This has to be one of the most useful things for Final Right because you've got the rip saw on the Darkest Shore that will help you take care of whistlings, but you don't really have a lot to help you on the Final Right. So these knives are definitely the answer. This is one of the loadouts I use a lot. It's Frontline with Fast Hands mod, and what that does is it allows you to throw the knives really fast and also increase increases their damage and then you obviously want vicious on because that's going to triple your damage and then the last one there is going to allow you to have double the knives so eight instead of four so with this type of loadout how strong you are is when you have it activated you can kill a burner with two knives and obviously you're going to insta kill the whistling with one knife because i just showed that the knives on their own with no mod activated whatsoever insta kills all of the bombers and that is so useful and that's what i use the knives for the most Again, you can see my front line's not activated. The knives are just so strong, they insta-kill the bombers, and they will drop the bomb immediately. And I also like that you can blow up the bombs with the knives and then go back and pick up the knife so you won't even lose it. And again, to show you how strong the knives are, if you have frontline activated and fast hands on with Vicious, you can kill the assassins in three knives. So yeah, that is incredibly strong. The only annoying thing about these knives is that you have to be rank 45 to actually equip them. So once you reach 45, most people prestige and, you know, bypass the ability to even load them up. So if you are at 45 or you are master prestige, I would highly recommend trying them out. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.